Yes, progressive rock band from Genie. Shh. Pocket time? <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa. What in the world? Polly has left the room. Set Maker Station to away mode. As you wish, Polly. Genie, search for what to do when you shrink to four inches tall. Query does not compute. You're telling me. She'll be here soon. When I say go, you release the trap. Got it? Yep. When you say grow, I release the trap. Oh, not grow. Go. Go. Oh, go. Okay. <laughs> Gwen, get this off of me. No! Yeah! Way to fly, Blue. Girls, what's up, Polly? We are going to see Melody. <laughs> Say it isn't so! We'll have to call a tow truck. But the Melody Cruise leaves soon. We'll never make it! There's always a way. What do you have up your sleeve? Not up my sleeve. In my backpack. A toy? Not anymore. I made a few mods and voila! So, what do you think? I think you should watch the road. Uh, sidewalk! <laughs> Guys, distract Grizel. I'll get them to shut down the Whopper Whirler. We shall come out of hiding now. That appalling, unfashionable woman is gone. There! You have to shut down the ride. There's a loose screw. Huh. The only thing here with a loose screw is you, kid. This part of some shorty pants plan to get on the ride while I'm not looking? No, I'm serious. The whole thing is gonna collapse. <laughs> like I'm gonna believe a kid knows more about coasters than me. Now scram, ding-dong, or I'll call security. Where did those rugrats go? Now! Mmm, <laughs> tastes like pond. Swampy. Come on, Grandma, pick up. I need you to call Wacky World and tell them there's something wrong with the coaster. They won't believe me because I'm too... Huh. He thinks I'm too little, but he underestimates how little I can be. Tiny power! <laughs> there it is! Rail 64C of Quadrant Q. Yeah. 
pip squeaks. You were supposed to feed Paxton the peas, not paint the kitchen with them. I'm the big sister. Pax has to listen to me. You have to listen to Pax, too. If you can see where he's coming from, you can connect with him. He's uncontrollable. Good evening, Polly. Miss Mentz. And my darling smidgen says hello. Oh, hi, Miss Mentz. We didn't hear you come in. Polly, you won't have to worry about Pax tonight. Miss Mentz will be watching you while we go out for dinner. But I like going out to dinner, too. Sorry, Pumpkin. It's date night. Thanks for watching them, Emma. The pleasure is all mine. All right, young lady. You should be doing your homework and... Ooh. Are you ready, Polly? Coming, Lila. I think not. But Mom said I could help Lila with her new dog walking business. Well, then, it seems only right. Yes! It seems only right that this fledgling entrepreneur walk my smidgen. If you finish your homework by the time she returns, I'll consider letting you out to socialize. But my homework's not due until... No months! I'm the babysitter and you'll do as I say. Now, to your room and you'd better not come out that door till I say so. Uh, see you soon, Polly. <laughs> Magnificent machine. <laughs> Aren't you just the. <laughs> How dare you, Rugrat, sneak up on the mayor! <laughs> Griselle? Go break out! Not another step or I'll release the bubbler on Littleton. The bubbler? It'll lock the whole town in an impenetrable bubble. What? Okay, we're not going anywhere. Just put down the remote. Littleton's mine! <laughs> of the Littleton Emergency Bubbling System. Please do not be alarmed. This test is for your safety and will soon be complete. That is all. Bye, Mom. See you after the dance. What in the space-time continuum is going on here? <laughs> it's not really a test. It's permanent. But that'll keep them calm enough until I can shrink them. Tiny power! Predictable. Gwen, phase two! Yes, boss? What's that stench? I don't know, but I'm feeling awfully sleepy. <laughs> I've been more snooze time lavender extract. All aboard the sleepy train. <sighs> Easy now. We'll just lower ourselves gently, like a. <laughs> A strand out of place. Oh, I love that hairspray. Uh. Go big. Not bad. I'll have this up and running again in no time. Unless no time means right now we need new transpo. Yeah. 
The LMFF committee meeting starts in four minutes, and party planning waits for no girl. Tiny power! I'm never going to win this election. And if I'm not mayor, I can't make it a law that Polly Pocket must give me her locket. Oh, it's not pointless. I thought the campaign rally was great. You were the only one there. I'm Bonnie Bane's number one fan. Make it rain for Bane. <sighs> oh, the paper says I'm down 40 points. Old Mayor BB Kisser will have it all wrapped up. Hmm. You know who's really good at getting people to like her and vote for her? Polly Pocket. She got everyone at school to vote her the head of the dance committee. I even voted for her. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Get that annoying little go-getter Polly Pocket to campaign for me? <gasps>